Oh, brother. 1.35 in the morning, and I'm still at Mother's house. I cannot believe this. I'm still here. I'm supposed to be on the road. I'm supposed to be over at somebody else's house tonight, spending the night, putting some smoke alarms up in the morning, and then going over to a hotel by the airport to pick up Mayumi and Haku. Why am I still here? You will not believe this. And I thought I better just make a video. I've been waiting three months for this. Three months. One day shy, and guess what I just got? Kidney stone. Yes. I have a kidney stone. It feels pretty good right now, but yesterday it came on something fierce. It's like I had to go to the bathroom and I hardly could have any flow whatsoever. And I'm like, what's the deal here? And right back in here is where it started to feel kind of like a, like a muscle or something like that. Like maybe I pulled a muscle, but that wasn't it at all. I, I mean, I, I was getting ready to go this afternoon and I thought, do I dare tell mother what's happening? My mother is going to be all upset and nervous. I was thinking about going down to, towards San Francisco and dealing with it. I didn't even know what it was. So I finally told her about it. We made some phone calls. <laughs> My cousin, her husband works at the emergency room at a place called Kaiser Permanente. So he called me back and fortunately he told me that it, all the symptoms appear to be a kidney stone. I also called up my sister-in-law. She said the same thing because her sister's husband has had kidney stones before. And she said, yeah, that's, that sounds like what it is. You, you've got a low flow. I mean, after I went to the bathroom, it just still felt like, oh man, I have to go. I have to go get back on the pot. And it just dribbles out four or five little dribbles. You know, I, I really didn't know what was going on. And I thought, well, shoot, where's my appendix? I wasn't sure where my appendix is. It's down in here somewhere. But, but the pain was over here. And I didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to think, okay, do I have to go to the hospital? What's the deal? And so, yeah, I, I am a little bit more relieved now knowing about what it is. And... Let's see here. Oh, 1.35 in the morning. Hey, one thing I've got to do is drink a lot of water. And I called up another friend of mine, and she said, you want to drink about half your weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 160 pounds, I mean, I'm less than that now. That would be 80 ounces of water. Divide that into 8-ounce glasses or, or whatever, 16-ounce glasses, and that'll kind of give you an idea of how much water you should be intaking because this is going to help flush it out. And another thing, I had some ibu, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen here, okay? You see that? Ibuprofen. And... Ted, the guy at the emergency room, said 800 milligrams every four hours if that's for your pain. And these are two, 200 milligrams, so I, take, I took four of those. And he said, um, you know, actually someone else said, make sure you eat a little bit of food with that. Just a little bit, not too much, or else it could burn up the insides of you and stuff. And here I've got some other eye ibuprofen and this is 800 milligrams each tablet so I've got those luckily and a friend of mine he's a dentist and last time I was there I got some other pain pills for my teeth and I was talking to Ted and he said oh this stuff is perfect for for pain too if it gets really super bad okay this stuff is called high hydroco slash ace tem and it's tin he said, you, he said, is it 5 or 10? I said, it's 10. And he said, okay, that's some more powerful stuff. And this says, take one tablet. 
by mouth every four to six hours. And he said, you can take this at the same time you take ibuprofen, 800 milligrams, or usually you can get this over the counter, 200 milligrams, you just take four pills, okay? And so I've taken that, I've taken that a couple times so far. And at first the pain didn't seem too bad. And then it got worse because as you move around, this kidney stone is trying to go through your, your passage and it's just painful when that happens. So you just kind of have to deal with it. And he said, he said uh, you could go to a hospital and get a, get a CAT scan. If you get a CAT scan, then it'll tell you what size the kidney stone is and whether or not you can pass it um, just naturally you know all the way through without doing anything and he said if it's small enough it could take between two two days and two weeks depending how big it is and all that and I've never had one before so I'm hoping that it's so small it's gonna go through and I'm not gonna have to go to the hospital or something he said um, you know you're you're gonna you're gonna feel pain, and if you feel kind of icy, cold, that's okay. But if you start getting a fever, that means everything's backing up, and it's not passing. You got to get that CAT scan, and chances are they're probably gonna put you in a hospital and try to uh, laser it off, you know, break it up, or do some other sort of um, tests and procedures on you you know, to try to break it up so that you can pass it through. Well, I'm not at that stage just yet. Okay, I'm gonna try this stuff first for the pain and stuff. I just took a hot bath too. Yeah, 1, 1.30 in the morning, one o'clock probably. And it felt pretty good and I actually went to the bathroom after that. I'm gonna drink another thing. I don't know, I feel pretty good right now. Okay, but man, they said, most guys are wimps when it comes to kidney stones because they can't take pain. Let me tell you, that pain was intense and I think that's why they made men not to be able to have babies because they could never have a baby. They could never go through what a woman has to go through, okay? It, it's just unreal what the pain is like. And I'm gonna be going to bed here. I'm hoping that everything's gonna be okay, but you know, hey, I'm going, I'm going on my trip. And hopefully I don't get worse. Hopefully I can just grin and bear it. And, you know, hey, if, if I start feeling bad, I'll have to stop off the side of the road or something, wait until it passes, take some more pills, and then get back on the road or whatever and hope that it passes naturally. Okay, I'll give you some other updates as I go. But there are some tips for you on if you have that same kind of pain you'll probably know what it is. Kidney stones, yuck. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. And, you know, I took the ibuprofen and this other stuff, the hydroco. I took it at eight o'clock. And so rightfully at, at midnight, I could have taken some more, but I didn't feel too bad just then. And it's about 1.45 now. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to man up. And I'm going to save my pills and hope that it doesn't flare up in the middle of the night. If it does, I can get up and take some pills. You know, but right now, maybe I can get some sleep and the pain won't come back until the morning. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now, of course, I'm not a doctor. I'm telling you what I'm going to be doing for it and what the feelings were and all that kind of stuff. You know, take that with a grain of salt, okay? Because you, if you have the same type of issue later on, if you don't have the money to go to the hospital or something, and if you want to try to take matters into your own hands for a few days to see what happens, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I also got... Uh, I talked to a friend of mine, the organic chick, by the way, and planetary herbal stone-free pills. Okay. 
That is what I'm going to go to the health food store. And she said that this could free that up or break it up, dissolve it, whatever. Get it, get it small enough so that it will pass. That's a homeopathic way or, or an organic way. And I want to try that. I don't want, I don't want to go be going to the doctor if I don't have to. Okay, you remember, you remember I got that big cut on my, my hand and it blew all, all up and, and I, I did some stuff that the organic chick told me to do and it worked. My hand is just fine. I can hardly see the scar. There's a, there's a slight little scar right there. You see it right there. Okay, it could have been really bad had I not done all the stuff that you had recommended me doing. Plus, I didn't want to go to the doctor. I, I didn't want to spend the money. I had to get the job done. I probably should have went and got a tetanus shot. I didn't even do that. But, hey, I'm going to just tell you a few things what's going on with me. And if it helps you, great. I don't want to scare you by giving you bad information. So, you know, just keep watching, keep watching my uh, follow-up videos. And I'll tell you when it passes or, or whatever. Like right now, I, I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I might have just passed it. I don't know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink all this water here and before I go to bed. And hopefully, I'll be able to uh, go again in the night or whatever. And then I might drink some more water. Okay? Always get that water in you. Try to get that thing flushed out. Okay? I'll be back later with more videos.